your heads come off. What's that? The head. It's cut off in the video. Now? There you go, you're fine now. <laughs> Happy Easter everybody, I hope everyone's having a great Sunday afternoon. Today we're off to Donator Castle up on the east coast of Scotland with Shabazz. We're on our way, heading up with my niece and my nephew as ever and um, hoping, to make, hoping, hoping to make the most of this wonderful afternoon. So <laughs> let's jump in, get in there and I'll chat to you then. <laughs> so here we are at Skirdiness Lighthouse uh, up on the coast of um, uh, coast of uh, what's this coast again Shabazz? Ang Montrose, just near Montrose up in Scotland and we're here with uh, with Shabazz and it's pretty amazing the waves behind me just over here are like wowzers so I'm gonna go I'm gonna get my uh, camera out get a quick shot but I can actually feel all the mist and the spray coming in my face. This is beautiful. It's stunning. Let's get some uh, get some shots. I'm just waiting for the right wave um, in terms of uh, image wise I'm not going obviously for a long exposure because we want to actually capture all the uh, the waves crashing right against these rocks over here and uh, apparently some common knowledge from Mr. Phil passed on by Shabazz is that it's, a, it's about every seventh wave or so but I keep forgetting to count, so I don't know if that was the seventh one just there or if it's that one, which I just missed. But it seems to be working. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to stay for too long. It's getting a bit cold over here, even though the sun's out. It's a bit cold. But that is just sensational. It's absolutely stunning. So what I'm actually doing for filtration. I'm actually using the uh, video filter, which well, video stroke photography one, and it's the one that I did a review with. You can watch the video just over here. It's. I'm using it because it's very very quick and very very easy just to get the right filtration and I don't have to keep messing about with my uh, shutter speed and uh, just whack it and you get just the right motion on there so filtration wise I'm not even on full power I'm just about halfway give or take and I'm just taking it up and down as I need to and it's working really well for me
out um, up in uh, Scotland on the map, I'll put it here somewhere and it's nice I'm not really taken by it simply because of the weather that we've got today so if you can see behind me you'll see those blue skies and there's not a lot going on really in terms of uh, drama, mood or anything as such so not really going to stay for sunset because I don't think there's going to be much point uh, probably best off heading back and um, get packing for tomorrow so we can head back home so I'm really just taking a reference shot for next time a uh, simple exposure all I'm using is a three stop no I'm not I'm using a five stop uh, five stop ND and uh, medium grad and this is the kind of shot I'm getting so the exposure I have got for this shot at this moment is F13 and 5 seconds, ISO 100, nice and easy. Now I was thinking of flying the drone over here but I'm not quite sure because it's quite windy um, and it looks right here on there and I am kind of cold, my hands are freezing but I'll see. I'm going to have a little think, uh, everyone needs to get their drones up but I don't, I'm not quite sure if I'll get mine out, I'll have a little think. Donata Castle is beautiful, so I'm just going to enjoy the moment really and uh, you guys enjoy the video. See you later guys.